Hi, I'm Brent, and I'd like to give you the facts about ventilators. Now, I'm not a pulmonologist, but I have designed ventilators for clients, including ones like this. Here's the problem. People think that ventilation means squeezing a bag of air into a patient and then releasing it and letting the air come back out and repeating that process. That works fine for a healthy lung, but if you have a sick lung, which is wet with mucus, the little alveoli sacs are stuck closed and the pressure it takes to open them is greater than the pressure it takes to rupture them. So what you end up doing if you're not very, very careful is a thing called ventilator-induced lung injury or VELI. And that can be fatal in and of itself. So if you're pressure ventilating somebody who has a sick lung, you need to be an experienced ventilator technician. And in a crisis, we don't have enough of those ventilator technicians, even if we had all the ventilators we need. What we need is a technology which is intrinsically safe and can't cause that problem. Fortunately, about 40 years ago, a doctor, Forrest Bird, up in Sagal, invented just that technology. He called it the Phasotron, and it's a Bernoulli device which has a venturi, which induces airflow into the lung without creating pressures that can injure it. I've got a phasotron right here. It's driven by a pneumatic signal and it draws in air, extra air from the ambient environment and sends it to the patient. Now this can be to the patient via a mouthpiece or it can be a mask or if the patient is intubated, it can be into their intubation tube. And this device here is the key. This is a production device. They're making thousands of these right now. Now usually the machine that's used to drive something like this, a ventilator, it's a big complex device like that, and it gives you all kinds of parameters you can set to treat all kinds of patients. But you don't need something that complicated. In fact, all you need is something very, very simple, and I've breadboarded it here on the bench to show you. You have a pressure regulator, you have an adjustable pneumatic oscillator, you've got a meter which can measure the pulse rate and pressures, and the phasotron. That's it. So I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to take an analog of a lung, which is basically just a bag. I'm going to put it on the end of the phasotron, and I'm going to connect this system to a pressure line from an air compressor. Voila! Instant ventilation with just these four simple components. I can adjust the speed, and I can adjust the pressure. The advantage of this system is the parts are simple, they're easy to deploy, you can make thousands of them in a very short period of time. The problem isn't the technology though. The problem is that this particular configuration is not FDA approved, even though the all the pieces, all the technology is in medically approved ventilators right now. So we don't have a technology problem, we've got a government regulation problem in order to have enough of these ventilators to make sure that everybody who needs one gets one. Now, I've contacted Congressman Fulcher and I've put him in touch with a company that makes these systems, Percussion Air, up in North Idaho. And the president of Percussion Air has been put in touch with the Health and Human Services Department so they can start working on this. This has just been in the last couple of hours. Now, don't call Percussion Air or ask them for information. They're very busy addressing this problem right now. But it's quite possible that the solution to this nationwide, really worldwide pandemic can be had right here in North Idaho. I'll keep you posted when I hear more. Thank you.